Good morning, everyone. I want to welcome you to Life Lifters this week. Uh, this week, we're going to be talking about the theme about being desperate. Now, let me ask you this. When is the last time you've actually been desperate? Uh, we all know what it's like to be desperate. Maybe we're in a circumstance that we're desperate to get out of, or maybe we're out of something that we're desperate to get into. Uh, we know what it's like to be desperate, and sometimes we try to avoid being desperate because we like comfortability. We like to be comfortable in life, and so we try to avoid circumstances or situations that would make us feel desperate. But the truth is this, is that God wants us to, whether it's in a a something a good season or in a bad season he wants us to pursue after him and to seek after him but unfortunately so often the only time we seek after God is when we find ourselves in a desperate situation uh, I know that to be the case because it's not just unique to my own life but it's and it's probably not just unique to your life either but it was also something that David himself found himself struggling with uh, and really what what gave me the theme for the week is a verse that I read in Psalm 63 verse 1 and here's what David said David said oh God you are my God I earnestly search for you my soul thirsts for you my whole body longs for you so David is saying man I'm searching after you God I'm longing for you God my whole body is is longing for you God and why is he doing that because he says this I long for you in this parched and weary land where there is no water so what king david was saying is that he finds himself in this parched and this weary land where there is no water and it's compelling him to drive himself to god and seek after god now i want to ask you a question how many of you feel like we live in a parched and weary land right now Every hand should go up, right? Because we do. We feel like we're in this weary land. We're weary of the COVID-19. Uh, we're tired of the political junk that we see every time we turn on the news. Like we see relational dysfunction all over the place. We're living in this weary land. And and what was, what was the reality of David's life, that weary land that he was in, compelled him to move to God, towards God, is really the reality of our lives as well. Uh, when we find ourselves weary or discouraged in life or things are difficult, we seek after God. But here's what God challenged me with. Dan, are you willing to seek after me, not only in the bad times, but in the good times, as much as you are willing to seek after me in the bad times? And I got to be honest with you. What God really revealed to me is this, is that comfortability is really the enemy of my soul. Because when I'm comfortable, I really don't seek after God. But when I'm desperate, it's a lot easier for me to seek after the Lord. And what the Lord was challenging me with is, Dan, are you willing to seek after me when you're comfortable as much as when you're uncomfortable? And I've got to be honest with you, the answer would be no. And I think what the Lord wants me to do and what he would challenge us to do today is be willing to develop disciplines in our, life, in our lives where we would seek after God in the comfortable times as much as when we're uncomfortable or when we find ourselves desperate. And so that's what I want to do this week. I want to talk about what are some of the disciplines that we can put into place that would help us seek after God in the good times as well as in the bad times. Because when we develop those disciplines, I think they're going to help us uh, just remain on course, right? Because comfortability is the enemy of our souls and desperation is what causes us to pursue after God. And so I want us to develop some of those disciplines. So we're going to talk about worship. We're going to talk about prayer. We're going to talk about community and some other things that would compel us to seek after the Lord. But what I want us to do is pray for us today and uh, look forward to journeying with you each day regarding the subject of being desperate. Father, I thank you, Lord, that you are on the scenes of our lives, not only in the bad times, but in the good times as well. And Lord, so often, Lord, we can be distracted by the lesser in life. And I pray, God, that we... Uh, and, and we don't seek after you, Lord, when we're comfortable. And I pray, God, that you would help us to seek after you in the times of comfort as much as we do in the times of desperation. And so today, God, we look to you and we say that we need you in our lives and we look forward to the great things that you're going to do in our lives, not only today, but this week as well. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so like David, let's seek after the Lord in this dry and weary land.